Hello, everyone. Welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a message for you from the Lord. It is a warning. Um, it is a warning. So this is a serious word. And so for those of you who um, are not really following prophetic messages, for those of you who don't really know the voice of the Lord, I'm telling you right now, this is a warning and I need for you guys to listen and I need for you to pay close attention to the scripture that is coming forth as well as what the Lord is saying. Praise God. Okay. So before we start, I'm going to go ahead and pray this word forth. Dear Lord God, thank you so much for your goodness, grace, and mercy. Thank you for your love, Lord God. Thank you for con being concerned about us. Thank you for bringing these messages forth as they are dire messages in this land, Lord God. Thank you for covering your people, God. Thank you for covering your saints. And Lord God, I pray for every single person who is lukewarm. I pray for every single person who has not turned to you and to follow you, Lord God, right now so that they can have this prayer over them, Lord God, that they will hearken their hearts to you, that they will hear your name, their name being called by you, Father God, and that they will fall in line, fall in their rightful place, which is with the flock and following our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so that we can be led the right way, so that we can be led onto the fields, hallelujah, the green grassy fields, hallelujah, with plenty to eat, hallelujah, our needs being met, hallelujah, with living water, praise God, hallelujah, and the word saturating, hallelujah, through the land. Praise God for this, hallelujah, because this is a blessing to be with the flock. This is a blessing to have Jesus' hand on you. Hallelujah. I pray, hallelujah, that they get an experience with Jesus so they'll know that Jesus is real. God is real. The Holy Spirit is real. And they will come on into the, the walk of the Lord. Hallelujah. Carrying their cross. Hallelujah. And doing their assignment in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for this message. Thank you, Lord God, for spreading the spreading of the word. And thank you, for Lord God, for entrusting me to release this word in a timely manner. Hallelujah. For you said it needs to go forth, that your people need to know this, Lord God. And I'm just going to read off what you said to me. And I pray that it is received by those who know, those who know you, those who know your voice, Lord God. Hallelujah. They will know, hallelujah. And if they're weary about anything, Lord God, I pray that they go into their secret place and I pray that they confirm this word, hallelujah, that they go into you, Holy Spirit, start asking questions and that I pray that you expose them to what is happening all around them, hallelujah, what's happening in their world, on their land and what's happening around them so that they will not be bamboozled, so that they will not stumble, hallelujah, but begin to pick up their cross and walk in that narrow path, on that narrow path that you have assigned to us. So they will walk on that path knowing that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. Um, I have this message from the Lord and I came on here quickly. I was getting ready to head out, but I, I had to come on and, and disseminate this word as the Lord has said for me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before anything, praise God, because I'm obedient. Hallelujah. When the Lord gives you a message and it is a warning, hallelujah. And he says, warn the people, hallelujah, which is his people. Hallelujah. That's what I'm going to do. And I pray that you are also obedient in the call that the Lord has over you, that whatever it is that he's calling you to do, that you go ahead and do that, praise God, because it takes all of us to do our parts, hallelujah, because this world is a mighty world, it's a big world, praise God, but we all have our parts to do, hallelujah, and I don't want to leave my parts half done, praise God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father God. All right, so the Lord sent me to Isaiah chapter 15, and I'm going to read the verse that really stood out. Praise God. Um, I went to uh, verse one first and verse one reads the burden of Moab be Moab is laid waste and brought to silence because in the night Kerr of Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. That was the first verse that I read. Praise God. And then I went on to read the entire chapter and verse nine stood out to me for the waters of diamond shall be full of blood. For I will bring more upon diamond lions, upon him that escapeth of Moab, and upon the remnant of the land. Praise God. The Lord is sharing a warning, so I'm going to dive right into that warning. But those are our scriptures, so I'm going to relay back to them, praise God, uh, through the message that the Lord gave. Hallelujah. So the Lord shared missile. Now, I know he gave a message on war is coming to the land of the U.S., and um, I delivered that message, that prophetic message um, a while ago. 
And so he said again, missile. So we know it is it is coming. It's being confirmed and confirmed and confirmed. And so we need to really open our ears to this because we're living on this land. Hallelujah. And we need to hear, to hear what is happening all around us. So we know about the war in Ukraine, praise God. But the Lord says that there's a war that's coming to the U.S. And he said, missile, hallelujah. He said, prepare, get ready, praise God. He said, move. If he's telling you to move, let me say this right here. Some of you, the Lord is telling you to move right now. He's telling you to get your things and go. He's telling you to pack up and go. And he it doesn't seem like he's giving you a lot of time, like it's a rush, rush, go. Praise God. He said, don't move in haste, hallelujah. But he's giving you enough time, enough window to start moving in what he is calling you to move in. Some of you, he's telling you to move and you are dragging your feet. Please don't drag your feet, hallelujah. Please don't drag your feet. The Lord is saying to you, move, hallelujah. The Lord is saying to you, get ready. Some of you are not ready. Some of you have not uh, uh, purchased extra food. Some of you don't have extra essentials. Some of you don't even have extra anything, praise God. And it's not because you don't have it to, uh, 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 you know, you don't have the money to purchase these extra things. You're just being lazy, praise God. I'm going to call it like it is. You're just being lazy, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apathy is all over you. You're just not going forward with what you know you're supposed to do because there's a laziness to it. Like you see everything that's happening around you and it doesn't seem like it's that urgent. So you got a little bit more time. But I'm telling you right now that the Lord said that this is not a little bit more time. Hallelujah. That you don't have it. Praise God. You need to be preparing right now or you will fall into the space of desolate. Hallelujah. Desolation. You will fall into that space of not having, not providing, and you will have that feeling like you've had before. Man, I was supposed to do that. Man, I should have went on and uh, uh, purchased that when the Lord told me to purchase it. I knew it was something. You know, it kept coming back. It kept coming back. But I just went on and did what I wanted to do. Praise God. I'm telling you right now, the Lord is warning us. He said, prepare, 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 praise God. Prepare, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And he said, hallelujah, finish what he told you to do. That's another thing. Hallelujah. Some of you, he's telling you to move. You need to go ahead and move. There's a reason for that, praise God. There's a reason. You don't want to get caught up and not moving when God tells you to move. He has already aligned your move. He's already aligned where you're going to stay. He's already aligned the people. They're already in place. There's a reason why he's telling you to go. Go, go. I need for you to go. Hallelujah. I need for you on behalf of the the rest of the saints. Hallelujah. I need you in place. Hallelujah. We all need to be in place. Hallelujah. Because there's a reason for it. God is calling all of us to do something. Hallelujah. All of us are called to do something during this time period. I know you feel it and I know you hear it. Hallelujah. And I know uh, a lot has been said about the wealth transfer and and all the great things that God is doing. And that, that is happening in this time too. Hallelujah. But you need to get in place. You need to get to your rightful place. Hallelujah. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Safety is in your place that he's telling you to go. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says, finish what he told you to do. He told you to finish something. Hallelujah. He told you to complete it. Hallelujah. Some of you have not picked up the pen. Some of you have not have not picked up the tool. Some of you have not picked up the phone. Some of you have not uh, corrected what you were supposed to correct. The Lord says, finish what he told you to do. Hallelujah. He said, no more procrastination. Some of you are getting ready to miss it. Some of you are getting ready to miss this big move of God. I'm telling you right now because you're not moving, you're procrastinating. Get in line. This is your warning right here. Praise God. The Lord shared, there will be a crying out. Even the remnant, hallelujah, of the land will be crying out. Those left, hallelujah. Those, that small group left, hallelujah. They will be crying out unto the land as well. Hallelujah. The Lord showed me um, this attack on the U.S., Praise God. He didn't show me the missile and where it was going to hit exactly in the U.S., but he showed me that the time, he didn't give me the date, but he showed me a time. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in this time, it is going to be silent across the land. It's going to be silent. And the symbolism that I received, hallelujah, was like night. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that it's going to happen at night. It could very well happen at night, but I saw night like a stillness when this attack is going to happen. And it's going to come when you least expect it. 
You could be laying in your bed fast asleep. Hallelujah. Get ready for uh, the very next day because you got to get up for work. Praise God. You're, you're fast asleep trying to get rest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Attack. I'm telling you, I saw stillness across the United States. And that's for my thinking. The only thing that I could think of that would create a stillness across the United States will be if it was night. Because we know that usually at night, there's a greater stillness than during the day. Let's be real. Even though we know activity happens at night, it's not as much activity as during the day. Praise God. So there was a stillness across the United States. And I was thinking, well, Lord, like what would create this stillness across the United States? What would be that blanket of darkness across the United States? Well, it will be where it's nighttime across the United States. Yes, the time intervals will be a little different, right, from place to place. But there is a time during the night where it is night from the East Coast to the West Coast. Praise God. Hallelujah. This attack is going to be an attack where you least expect it. It's going to be a thief in the night, mocking the word of the Lord, mimicking the word of the Lord of when Jesus would come through. As I'm telling you, you wouldn't even expect it when he returns of how he's going to come back. This is a, a, a mimicking that and mocking. It's a mocking because the enemy is not Jesus. Jesus Christ is Jesus. Praise God. Jesus is Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So we bind the enemy. We bind the enemy right now. Hallelujah from trying to attack our families, praise God, from trying to attack this land, hallelujah. But the Lord has already said, hallelujah, that there's a missile coming. Many are not praying, are not crying out. There's a missile coming, praise God. It is going to come, it is going to hit when you least expect it. And I saw night, like a blanket of darkness across the land from the East Coast to the West Coast. I'm just telling you what the Lord said. Then. I was um, brought to time. Uh, there was a section in the Bible that talked about time. Hallelujah. Where, where the Lord um, um, rewind time gave, gave um, a significant person in the Bible. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, additional time. Hallelujah. And I don't have that scripture right here in front of me, but I saw the sundial. And so I started looking up the sundials and, and seeing how they work with the sun and the shadow of the sun actually um, helping to create that time of what time of day it was. Praise God. Hallelujah. And what I noticed was, hallelujah. And looking at the picture, hallelujah, hallelujah. There was that shadow there pointing to the accurate time of day, but that shadow was a casting. That shadow was a casting. And remember when I said from East Coast to West Coast, that was a casting, a shadow, a darkness. Praise God. The Lord says they have they have agreed upon a specific time for this activity to take place. Praise God. The Lord gave me some information. He, he opened up um, some information and gave me a vision on President Biden and President Biden. Um, and I'll just tell you my vision. I was uh, sitting in prayer as he was giving this information to me. He showed me President Biden and he showed a tree, uh, an actual living tree with the roots, the roots at the bottom of the tree. But the roots were attached to uh, Biden's um, like stomach area, chest area. It was attached. Right. So we know that trees grow out of the ground. Praise God. But the Lord was showing that this tree right here. This tree that he's feeding, this green tree, hallelujah, hallelujah, because it's it's another it's another mocking of what God has produced. God has produced this earth, praise God for us. We have dominion over it, and actual trees grow from the ground like they're supposed to. But this tree was attached to Biden, and the roots were all around him, like attached to him, like he was walking around in this tree. <laughs> like you will hold a baby, but this tree was attached to him, rooted in him, praise God. And it was a big tree. It wasn't a tiny tree like he just started doing this. This tree was big, hallelujah. And it had green leaves. So it, it played on the image of an actual tree, of an actual living tree, praise God. But it's not. The Lord was showing that this tree, hallelujah, 
hallelujah, is not of God. The Lord says, Biden, hallelujah, hallelujah, is feeding this tree. Hallelujah, this tree, hallelujah, this tree. We know that trees can represent, hallelujah, leaders, hallelujah. This tree was attached to him and it was getting nutrients from him, hallelujah. And it was, it was, um, he was carrying this tree, praise God, hallelujah. Carrying this tree around, it was attached to him, he was walking around, but the tree was still there, it was rooted in him. And the Lord says, hallelujah. It is draining, hallelujah. It is drawing, sorry. It is drawing from Biden, which means that it is pulling. Hallelujah. I use the word draining, hallelujah. And it could very well be draining because drawing, draining, same thing. It's a pool coming from him, hallelujah. But I want to say what the Lord said. He's drawing from Biden, hallelujah. This tree is drawing from him. And this tree is growing. This tree is 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 has green leaves, praise God. It looks like... um. Like I said, a regular tree, except it's not rooted in the ground, it's rooted in Biden. Hallelujah. It's rooted in Biden and all the resources and the nutrients and the different things that it can get from him, praise God. Um, because he's the president, he's the one who can sign off on a lot of things. He's the one who's oblivious to a lot of things. I mean, come on, everybody knows that the president doesn't know all things, praise God. So he's the one who can sign off, but he's the one who's oblivious to everything. Praise God. The Lord says the tree was living, hallelujah. But Biden, he would seem to be struck by illness. So it seemed like the, the more the tree absorbed from him, all the nutrients, the resources, the more that Biden was being struck by illness. Just sharing what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says, hallelujah, that Biden's eyes, hallelujah, they're dark, hallelujah, and he's robotic. He's robotic in evil activity. He's just doing what he knows. He's not even thinking, y'all. Praise God. He's not even thinking. Hallelujah. He's just doing what he knows. He's just talking like he knows. Hallelujah. When you see him in those press conferences, hallelujah, he's just talking like he know how to talk. Praise God. How he been doing. Praise God. It's nothing new. It's nothing structured. Hallelujah. He didn't step over into the presidency, uh, stepping into the role um, of, with honor. He didn't step over in there with... Um, a greater magnitude for the position. He didn't step over in there as a growth from where he was, from vice president, praise God, to president. He didn't step over and you did not see that growth. What you saw was Biden bringing the old Biden, hallelujah. He's just doing as he know how to do, praise God. The Lord was showing it, hallelujah. He's robotic in his evil activity. He's been doing it, praise God. So he just walked over into the presidency, still doing what he knows how to do, hallelujah. The Lord says, hallelujah, that we're in a sinful nation. We know it's sinful, praise God. We see all of the uh, laws and different things that they're passing that is against the Bible. The Bible has been taken out of so many different um, institutions. Prayer has been taken out of so many institutions in this uh, United States of America. So the United States of America is no longer um, a nation of Jesus Christ, a nation, a Christian nation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though you have Christians here, it is not a Christian nation. They made it a point to take it out. Hallelujah. They made it a point to dissolve the altars. Hallelujah. That were dedicated to the Lord. And they made it a point to create more evil altars, idolatry, different things of that nature, nature, abominations. They made it more a point, hallelujah, to, to, to stand up for pro-choice, hallelujah, hallelujah. We already know that the Lord is the one who decides who carries a baby. The Lord decides, hallelujah. The Lord sins, hallelujah, and the life begins, hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, we, hallelujah, women, men, hallelujah, don't have a right, hallelujah, to act as if we're God, to take away what God has sent, praise God, hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you don't want, hallelujah, the outcome, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm just talking about those who know what they're doing, hallelujah. If you don't want that outcome, hallelujah, don't do those things that will cause that outcome, praise God. And if you are in a situation, hallelujah, where somebody has taken advantage of you and then this pregnancy has happened, praise God, go pray about it, hallelujah. I'm gonna tell you right now, the answer is not abortion, praise God. The answer will be, hallelujah, for you, 
to um, do as God is calling you to do with that child. Hallelujah. There's a reason why that child is here. There's a reason why that child was sent in the mighty name of Jesus. Think of it that way and not of your own flesh. But there are assignments, hallelujah, that are being unfulfilled by people because they are um, um, really wallowing in abortions. They are really wallowing. And when I say wallow, meaning they're they're conducting them. They're just doing them, hallelujah, without really thinking about what the um, what the repercussion would be or what the result would be when it comes to the body of Christ. They're not discerning the body of Christ, hallelujah. They're just discerning that, hey, I don't want to be pregnant, so I'm not going to um, have this child. But at the end of the day, the Lord makes the decision. Discern the body of Christ. It's not just about you. Go into prayer. Spend time with the Holy Spirit. He will help you along. Hallelujah. You may feel like you don't even know how you're going to do it. That's why he's here. He will help you along. There's nothing to think about. You may be crying and you want to know, hallelujah, how you're going to get through. Call on the Holy Spirit. He's the comforter. Hallelujah. He will comfort you. You just have to believe it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nothing's too hard for God. Hallelujah. Nothing's too hard for Jesus. Nothing's too hard for the Holy Spirit. That's where the power is. Praise God. Know who you are in Christ and stop stumbling because the world is showing you a way to damnation and you're just hopping on that wide road going along with them. Hallelujah. Not really knowing where you're headed. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is sharing right now that this nation is laden with iniquity. It is, it, there's a there's a deep burrow of iniquity, heavy laden, hallelujah. He said that this, this nation is laden with uh, uh, evil doors. There's a seed of evil doors, praise God. They have forsaken the Lord. They have Provoke the Holy One of Israel to anger. Hallelujah. And even the children are corruptors. Hallelujah. And this is out of, again, Isaiah chapter 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that verse where the children are even corruptors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to give it to you now. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. 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 It's in his chapter. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to have to come back to, to this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. But it's a sinful nation. This is what the Lord has said. It's a sinful nation. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Actually, it's out of Isaiah chapter one. Thank you, Father God. Isaiah chapter one, that is verse four. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says, ah, sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Hallelujah. They have gone away backward, backslidden. Hallelujah. Gone away backward. Hallelujah. Turn their backs on God. Hallelujah. Gone away backward instead of moving forward. Hallelujah. They still in the past. Hallelujah. Gone away backward. It's so many layers to that gone away backward. Gone away backward. They're not doing, they're not walking in what God has established in the walking. They've gone away from it. Praise God. They're going to do something else. Hallelujah. And who could come about with anything else? outside of God. Hallelujah. That will be the corruptors. Hallelujah. The man. Hallelujah. Following mammon. Hallelujah. Following evil spirits. Hallelujah. That are not of God. Do you understand? We have to stop with our walk in this world. Hallelujah. And relinquish ourselves to Christ Jesus so that we can be on the right path. This is not the time to be playing around y'all. Hallelujah. I know I'm sounding as if I'm, I'm, um, we're in the marathon here, but I'm just telling you, praise God. The Lord says a missile is going to attack the U.S. And it's going to be at a time when you least expect it. And he said that President Biden, hallelujah, has come into agreement with this. Hallelujah. 
He has agreed for this, this land, this nation to be attacked. He has agreed with the hallelujah. He had the tree. That was the representation of the tree absorbing from him. Hallelujah. Drawing from him. Hallelujah. Because the, the attack, hallelujah, is coming from what's drawing from him. Hallelujah. The attack, hallelujah, is coming from his evil activity. Hallelujah. He's not thinking about you. Hallelujah. But God is. That's why this warning is here. And many other warnings, I'm sure, hallelujah, have hit the land. The Lord is saying that a missile is going to hit. Prepare people. Prepare saints. Hallelujah. Don't live in an unwise, in an unruly place. Follow what God is telling you to follow. Do what he says. He Do what he's telling you to do. Praise God. Do what he's telling you to do. Hallelujah. So you can be in that rightful place to receive what he has for you. So you can be in that place of safety because he's calling you to a place. He's calling you to finish something. He's calling you. Listen to him. He may be telling some of you to stock up because you haven't been stocking. Go ahead and do it. You may run out of time if you wait. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, hallelujah, that you are adhering to this message and that you hear me clearly when the Lord has already said, praise God, that President Biden, hallelujah, has made an agreement. He's made an agreement. He knows that the attack is going to happen. The headquarters, White House, all of them, they know the, the attack is going to happen. It's hush, hush, hallelujah. But they know, hallelujah. They know, hallelujah. He said bunkers are already ready for them. Some of them have houses in other countries. They, they, they're they already prepared to, to, to leave. Do you understand? To leave and go into safety. Hallelujah. Praise God. They're already prepared to do um, I see like a um, the Lord is giving me a vision now. Like there's a, a a station, hallelujah, that looks like the White House, hallelujah, a conference room. It's a um, duplicate, hallelujah, but it's not even in the United States, y'all. Praise God. It's not even in the United States. It's a duplicate, and they're going to be um, sharing information from this duplicate place that looks like a room in the White House, hallelujah, already set up, hallelujah, already set up for what's getting ready to happen. Hallelujah. I just pray right now that you join me in prayer. Hallelujah. For the Lord said this and it will come to pass. And he has been um, giving this message over and over and over. And I just pray that we pray and, and, and we can pray y'all. We can pray that this missile, this attack, flops. Hallelujah. We can pray that. Hallelujah. If we honestly, with our heart's desire, want this to not happen, we can pray that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that God's will will be done anyway. Praise God. Whether it, it flops or if he uh, allows this to come to pass, however it is, we praise God either way. Hallelujah. But I'm just telling you, we can pray. Hallelujah. For protection. We can pray. Hallelujah. For this missile to flop. We can pray, hallelujah, that the Lord continues to cover us and guide us along our ways and that we will be obedient when he calls us to do something in the mighty name of Jesus, right? All right, please join me. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father God, for this message. Thank you, Father God, for showing us what is happening underhanded with the United States. Thank you for showing me the agreement with the president, Lord God, coming into agreement with the enemy, Lord God. Hallelujah. Giving the enemy access to the United States, giving the enemy access to the people, to kill the people with missiles, with an attack on, uh, on the U.S., with war, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, right now, we call unto you, Jesus. We call unto you to send the warrior angels on our behalf. Hallelujah. To send the warrior angels on this land. Hallelujah. We bind every single attack of the enemy against our families, God. We ask for supernatural protection, God. Divine protection, hallelujah, from the heavenly realm. We ask for covering, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that your will will be done. We know that you will have your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're not trying to get in your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. We're just crying out to you right now for this nation, for innocent blood, God. Hallelujah. Being spilled, God. Hallelujah. We're crying out for a divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, if it's your will, hallelujah, we pray right now, hallelujah, and demand that missile, hallelujah, to flop. We pray right now and demand that missile to flop in the mighty name of Jesus, that it does not harm anybody, God. Hallelujah. But everybody will see it as a warning, God. Everybody will see it as a warning and begin to call under your name. 
Prayer will burst out, hallelujah, on the land, hallelujah. And it will not stop this time, hallelujah. It won't be like regular disasters when something happened, Lord God, hallelujah. And everyone's aware of it. And they start praying and then they stop after a few weeks. They stop after a few months, hallelujah. And then it's back to business as normal. No, 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 no. We pray, hallelujah, that the revival comes forth, hallelujah. That in the land, people begin revivals, hallelujah. If they haven't already, and we just see them everywhere, just popping up, popping up, popping up. And prayer is in the land. And a crying out to you, Lord God, is happening, hallelujah. We pray for that right now, hallelujah. For we need you, Jesus. We need your heavenly holy hand. We need your righteous hand over our lives. We need your protective hands over our lives, Lord, hallelujah. Protect us, Lord God. Protect our territories and our sea, God. Our, our, our possessions, God. Hallelujah. Protect what you have given us, God. For you gave it to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord God. Hallelujah. We know vengeance is yours. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. We shall move where you tell us to move, Lord God. We shall go where you tell us to go. We shall do what you tell us to do. We shall finish the unfinished, God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy, and thank you for this message. Hallelujah. And I pray to every single person who's heard this prayer, Lord God, that they adhere to your call and be obedient. Because there is not a time as viable, as important, as dire as this to be obedient unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for the warning. We thank you, Lord God, for the preparation notice. We thank you, Lord God, for telling us what's to come. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we pray that you hear our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we plead the blood of Jesus over this prayer in Jesus name. Hallelujah. This prayer is sealed. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. I pray that you receive this message. The Lord told me to come on and um, share this missile, share um, what is happening with um, President Biden and share how they come together and what he said in Isaiah, praise God, of uh, this Moab, uh, be Moab is laid waste and brought to silence. Hallelujah. He said that there was going to be a silence. There was going to be a blanketing across the U.S. from east to west. Hallelujah. And it was going to happen. Hallelujah. At a time where there was low activity, where, where it was a silence, where, where you didn't hear a whole lot of activity going on. And so that was my differentiation between day and night. Hallelujah. And I just saw this blanket across from the east to the west of the United States. Hallelujah. And the Lord also said, because in the night cur of Moab is laid waste. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's laid waste. Hallelujah. He's letting us know that war is coming to the land. It will be laid waste. Hallelujah. And when it's happening, hallelujah, it will be a time where there's silence, complete silence across from the east to the west. Hallelujah. When you least expect it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please take heed to this calling. He also said in verse nine, for the waters of diamonds shall be full of blood. Hallelujah. Full of blood, that means people will die, praise God. So I need for you guys, I need for you saints, I need for you, those of you who believe in the Lord, I need for you to go ahead and go into prayer with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't let it end on this platform when you get into your secret place. Continue to pray for this, hallelujah, because it's coming to the United States. Hallelujah, and he said soon, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, oh my goodness, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit said it will, it will be like something you've never seen before. He said it will be like something you never seen before. In this verse, hallelujah, thank you, God. In this verse, it says, lions upon him that escapeth from Moab in, e in upon the remnant of the land. Hallelujah, that he will bring more. Listen. God is warning us. Jesus is warning us. And many of us are not taking heed to his warnings. And I just pray to God that you take heed to God's warning. You take heed to Jesus Christ's warnings. You listen. Hallelujah. When he tells you to pray, you pray. When he tells you to get up, hallelujah. I don't care if it's three or four, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. You get up. Hallelujah. If it's 12 midnight, hallelujah. You get up and you pray. Hallelujah. Because there's a dire time right now. We don't have time to be playing around and, and going on as business as usual. We need to be about the business of the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to be about the business of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We need to be about the business of our assignment. The reason why we're really here. Hallelujah. It's not a job. Hallelujah. It's not that big wedding you're planning. Hallelujah. It's not that um, business that you're creating. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. It's not the friends that you're hanging out with and you're having such a good time. It's not that big trip, that vacation that you are awaiting. Hallelujah. This summer. It's not about that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't get on your knees, hallelujah. A lot of that won't even happen in the mighty name of Jesus. If you don't get on your knees and repent and call unto the Lord, hallelujah, and see which way you need to go, a lot of that is not going to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray right now that you get on your knees and you start praying to God, hallelujah, not only for protection over those things that are dear to you, praise God, but you want to pray for the people of the United States. You want to pray for the people of the world because it's not just about you and what you got going on, hallelujah. It's about everybody who's going to be impacted. Hallelujah. Because obviously the leaders of this land don't care and they're putting you in harm's danger with all of these twistings and turnings of these laws that is not of the law of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is not within the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And God ain't playing. Hallelujah. He's not having it in the mighty name of Jesus. So I need for you to wake up if you're not up. Hallelujah. And begin to pray unto the Lord. Hallelujah. For not only deliverance, praise God, but for the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, grace, and mercy, Lord God. And I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every single person who has heard this, this message receive it. And if they are weary about it or, or concerned about it, that they go into prayer and, and find deeper meaning with you, Holy Spirit, with you, Jesus, with you, God. Hallelujah. Because this is a mighty word. This is a great word. Hallelujah. This is God's word. Hallelujah. A prophetic message that is telling you what's to come. Hallelujah. I can't make this stuff up. Hallelujah. Who can make this stuff up? Hallelujah. It's coming from God himself. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm just grateful that he's letting us know before time. All right, y'all. Um, that's it for me. Praise God. I pray that you receive this message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace and blessings until next time.